Engine repair is a family affair at Matt Dennis's farm in East Carroll Parish. He and his father David are rebuilding an older John Deere engine. The two do not need to speak as they adjust spacing and tighten bolts. These second and third generation farmers work together like a well-oiled machine. And that's how Matt wants his entire 7,500 acre farm to operate. He started making his farm in Sondheimer more efficient by leveling all of the land. Getting the water off is to me as important as getting water on. And that's kind of where I got my, got my start is getting the water off. But that was just the start of a whole lot of changes Dennis made. He changed the way he plants his rows of soybeans and corn so that they all go in one direction from field to field. We have 75 fields roughly, and usually you have a different line. You have about four lines per field. So that ends up being a pretty good bit of AB lines. And our tractor drivers are from another country, so it's difficult for them to come in and know which lines to select. So I got rid of all that, and now we use two AB lines to where they can never be wrong. Driving around his farm, Dennis points out how he's been able to increase planting efficiency by 40%. Everything is perfectly square. All the roads are straight, all the ditches are straight. There's only a couple bayou banks. So whenever autonomous does take off, there's no barriers out here. Did you catch that word? Autonomous. Dennis says he has everything set up for the next big thing in agriculture. Eventually the self-driving tractors will be a big thing. I think that's coming. Our tractors basically drive themselves now. All we do is turn them around on the ends. So that'll be big for us whenever that does happen because labor is so hard to find. But also the um, the management software, it keeps up with how many gallons of chemical you've used, how much money you've spent in this area, so I don't have to go through and really go through the bills anymore. It's all there for me, and that's really cut out a lot of time and made everything a lot more efficient. If Dennis sounds obsessed with data, well, he kind of is. You know, we're timing everything. If you're on a tractor out here, we're timing your turns, we're timing, timing your passes. We're always watching, and there's always ways to improve. And so if you have all that data, you can find where you can improve, where you should improve. And that just really helps you fine tune everything and get it down to exactly how you need it to be. If you're wondering where that comes from, just look at the man working with him on that John Deere engine. My dad raised me very hard, just was always on me, always. I was taught that there's always a better way to do it. No matter how good your way is, there is a better way to do it, and you better figure out how to do that better way. But that does not mean that Dennis has abandoned the past. While he's now primarily a soybean farmer, he wants to get this land back into rice, just like his grandfather did when he moved down to Louisiana. It was in the early 1960s. My granddad was up in Arkansas, and he was farming up there, not doing all that great, and he just all of a sudden came up with a bright scheme that he was gonna move to Louisiana and farm rice. And everybody was kinda like, you know, what the heck are you thinking? You gone broke up here, you're gonna go down there, you know, what's this about? And he's like, no, I got this, I got this. There's but you already lost your ass up here. You're gonna move down there and lose your balls. And that's where we got Lost Ball Farms from. <laughs> but um, it, it worked out and everything's still going good. Going good, just like a well-oiled machine. In East Carroll Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture.